You know, you can always tell when somebody is just absolutely useless. They are advertising that they got valuable information. They have a valuable product that they're going to sell you. And then there's the key right there. They're going to sell you something. They're going to tell you how, say, the information they tell you is going to be so valuable it's just going to change their life when they tell you for $19.99 or whatever the price is. It's just retarded. That's whenever I'm instantly shut off and I'm not going to listen to you because if you want my money, you're a scam artist. That's the bottom line to it. If somebody has information that's really beneficial for mankind, if they use it and apply it, it's going to change your life, then just give it for free. You probably didn't pay nothing for it anyway, so quit charging people, quit being scammers. On to better things. Me personally, I can't want to even share something that I think is of value unless it was of value to me first. So therefore, I won't say nothing unless it was of value to myself. Then you can decide if it was of any value or not. There really is no point in overdoing this. 99% of the people out there in the world, they're physical minded. They are their paycheck. They are their car, their truck, their khakis, their whatever it is. That's who they are. That's how they define their self. That's how they define their status by physical things and nothing more. Because that's all they are is their physical mind, this world. So to go deep down the rabbit hole of anything beyond this physical place is really a waste of my time in a way. Even though I do it anyway, I just get on a roll. So I guess for those who can understand, you know, that 1% of you out there... Enjoy the show. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. It doesn't matter what book you read or not. They all do the same thing. In fact, they're written in such a way that they even do that job. Agents of refinement. So anybody can pick up a book and read it. Anybody can come up with whatever they think it says. But it's designed, they all are designed in order to keep people out if you want to call it like that. If you have a clubhouse and you only want certain kinds of people to get in, you're not going to make it just fall out of bed easy like everybody or so many thinks that it is. You're going to have to go through the initiations and the processes in order to become what can even walk through the door. How's that? I'm getting overcomplicated on it. I want to talk about a good old simple thing that so many people do that they don't understand. They think they're doing something awesome. Paying tithes isn't that simple. They're still stuck in a physical concept. They're still stuck in that mind. They think because it's written in a book somewhere that that's what they're supposed to do. Like that's the ultimate end and what makes them righteous just because they follow rules in a book which has never been the goal of God. He's never had a goal of, I just want you to pick up this book and do exactly what it says, and this is the ultimate goal. No, this is your sign. Whatever book it is, it don't matter. It's, this is your physical evidence to confirm your faith, which God isn't pleased with. He don't want you to have signs and things like that to confirm that you even believe in Him, to believe that He even exists or is. He's not a book. So for the tithe payers, oh man, you're doing such a good job. You're paying your money to an organization that doesn't want you to get in. It's their goal. It's their purpose. But you're going to pay them money. You're going to pay money to a guy who can read the same book, no different than you. He can talk, no different than you. But yet, for some reason, humans think that Somebody else is just so much better than they can ever be at anything. So they stay under that, and they keep paying that money. If you haven't figured it out, keep doing what you're doing. Keep paying that money. Keep paying your mafia money. What's even really sad is that it is black and white laid out in said book of how that you can't even follow this book word for word, line for line, and even please God. It's, it's just, it lays it all out, but people just don't get it. They're like, okay, if I do this, then God likes me now. If I repeat these words, God likes me now. It's not what he's after. The men of old who God just 
spoke to, not as I'm speaking to you, but in here, nothing's ever changed. Old Testament, New Testament, whoever, whatever. God didn't say, okay, I'm going to give you this book and you're going to read it and then you're going to know what to do. No, he just went, now you know what to do. And that is the ultimate goal. That is the end result for God to be live in you and not, well, let me read my book first. Let me find out where this is at first and then I can, then I can believe it, then I can do it. But everybody's physical minded, high percentage. It's not going to change. I mean, what more did it take? These people, they ain't got no hope. There's no God in them. They just believe whatever they're told, whatever the screen says, they believe. This <gasps> keeps them safe. It ain't going to keep them safe from nothing. Their fear rules and controls those people. They're not, they've just set themselves apart. They have put a target right on them. That's what they're going to be. They already are. I don't even want to talk about that crap, coronavirus. God doesn't want your money. God doesn't need your money. God doesn't use money. But he will take what you love away from you, and you'll keep giving it. And don't forget, all that forced vaccination, all that Mark of the Beast fun and games is still on schedule. It's going to happen. And guess who's going to be first in line to do it? These people and all those high and mighty church people that thought they were so good with God, they're all just going to be jumping in that line to get it. Anyway, that was bonus material. Pat yourself on the back for getting such extra footage. Anyway, have a good day. I'm out of here. Till next time.